Well, some Indiana business owners say they are frustrated by this most recent surge of the Delta variant of COVID-19. Several say it's caused a hit to their sales. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow spoke with some of those affected. Earlier, I spoke with the president of the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. He tells me he's spoken with several business owners who say they're frustrated by this recent COVID-19 surge caused by the spread of the Delta variant in both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. I also spoke with a downtown Indy business owner who says she's seen the impact of this surge firsthand. We were getting back to what we would consider normal. At Small Batch Soups by Supremacy, the owner says 80 to 85 percent of her business comes during lunchtime from nearby offices and conventions in downtown Indy. Recently, some people who used to work in those offices full time are back to working from home. Today was an excessively slow day. Um, I can't I can't do a week or a month of a day like today. Danielle Cooney says business is down at least 25 percent since June. She says she wants to see more people get vaccinated if they can and says she wouldn't be opposed to another mask mandate to slow the spread of COVID. I would just like people to be considerate of the small businesses that are having trouble surviving this. Um, you know, we've, we're at, what, 18 months um, and it's a struggle every day. And business community leaders say Cooney isn't the only one who feels that way. They're weary, they're, they're frustrated and they feel like that the unvaccinated population is perpetuating this pandemic unnecessarily or at a level that, that is unnecessary. Kevin Brinegar of the Indiana Chamber of Commerce says several of his member business owners are feeling far less optimistic about the economy compared to earlier this summer. They want folks to voluntarily uh, go get themselves vaccinated and they want this, uh, you know, to help knock down uh, this outbreak. Last week, the federal pandemic unemployment benefits ended and the Biden administration announced expanded small business loans. Now, the president of the Indiana Chamber tells me he's hopeful these changes will make a difference for businesses, but acknowledges it's not a silver bullet for businesses that are struggling. In the newsroom, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Kristen.